Hello everyone, this is Ali and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about the basic network components that you will see on a network. This is great for those who are starting their CCNA studies or just general information for anyone who wants to see what the components of a network are. And this is a list of the components that we're going to talk about. The PCs or workstations, the IP phones, the cabling, the wireless access points, the network switches, the routers, the firewalls, the servers, and other components. First of all, the workstations where people sit and do their work uh, could be at a desktop or a laptop. There are many different vendors. You have the IP phones. These devices connect to the network and then they can connect uh, a computer so the computer gets its internet connection through the phone, but they are connected to the network, not to a telephone line, just like a typical phone and they're called a VoIP phone or voice over IP. We have the cabling, uh, you have the ethernet cables, the copper cables, uh, where you have the RJ45 connector, like this one here, where one end connects to the computer and the other end connects to the, um, the wall jack or the network jack here. And then the cable runs behind uh, the wall up in the ceiling on cable trays like these and then down uh, to a computer room or a network closet such as this one and they terminate in a patch panel like this one and I have a better picture in the next uh, couple of slides and you have fiber cables fiber cables are for heavier traffic more bandwidth they connect bigger devices to other bigger devices maybe uh, they connect different buildings together where you have lots of uh, data transfer lots of uh, bandwidth needed. The wireless access points. This is an example of a Cisco access point. They provide a Wi-Fi signal. This is typically mounted in the ceiling facing down and then they provide a wireless signal for the wireless devices such as printers, tablets, laptops and smartphones. The network switches. Network switches connect end devices such as the workstations, the access points, the phones, the printers, any other uh, components that need an internet connection, uh, like maybe security, pa security panels and other devices. Uh, they connect to switches and then the switch will connect to an uplink. Like in here you see the fiber connection. This is an uplink to other another device that will connect all of these devices to the internet. The routers. This is an example of a Cisco router. The router connects networks together or connects the local area network or the LAN or the internal network to the internet. So you typically on a router you have a connection to the internal network to the switch and the workstations and you have a connection to the internet. You have firewalls. Firewalls are security devices that restrict access um, to the networks. So you don't want any access from the outside world to your network components, to your assets, to your sensitive data. So you install a firewall that will protect your network. And it protects the network from malicious traffic so nobody um, downloads a virus or the virus does not get into your network. Um, and um, harms your network components. You have servers. Servers provide a service, an email service, a file service, a web service, etc. This is an example of a rack mount server and this is the same thing but it's laying on its side. You see on the front lots of hard drives so they store lots of data so employees, so employees can access the data from these servers and um, you can uh, do many things, many services you run on them for employees or for customers or for people on the internet. They are represented like this on a network diagram. Other components you see are the software components, for example, the operating system used. Is it a Windows computer? Is it a Linux computer? Is it an Apple computer? You can see uh, load balancers. This is a representation of a load balancer. So if you're running running a service on uh, multiple servers for load balancing or for um, to load balance the requests coming in 
to these servers you install load balancer and it will load or it will balance these requests across your uh, devices so one of them does not get overwhelmed you can see wireless controllers so if you have many many access points in your environment hundred or hundreds or thousands of access points you will need a uh, wireless controller that will manage these devices from a single uh, uh, point you can push the settings and the updates from this device instead of going to each one and do it manually you have intrusion detection and prevention systems this is just a representation it can be a device it can be a module on the firewall uh, this uh, intrusion detection or prevention system will prevent or will monitor traffic and see if there are any there are any abnormal behavior of traffic if you see anything uh, if they see anything malicious they will block it or they will alert the system admin and you can see phone systems these will manage the voice over IP phones so this is a basic network diagram don't worry about the location of each device but the typically a switch down here will connect the end devices access points workstations phones printers and then access points provide Wi-Fi signals for Wi-Fi devices and then you have a firewall that is protecting a service you have on the network or your internal network and you have a router that connects us to the cloud or to the internet and this is the overview of the network components we have I hope you like the video if you like it please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching